This morning, Devontae Adams put it out there that he will not play under the franchise tag. And apparently, both sides remain very far apart on a long-term deal. Now, that doesn't mean that he won't be back with the Packers, but it does mean exactly what we've been talking about, which is that the Green Bay Packers franchise tagging Devontae Adams does not mean that Devontae Adams is 100% locked in with the Packers. All it means is that the Green Bay Packers are not going to allow Devontae Adams to walk for free. They're not going to let Devontae Adams pick where he wants to go without them receiving some sort of compensation. Again, Devontae Adams doesn't have to sign the franchise tag. He can hold that if he wants to. Obviously, I don't think he's going to do that. In fact, I don't think the Packers are going to pay Devontae Adams what he wants. And according to Ian Rappaport, Devontae Adams isn't going to back down. Devontae Adams understands that Aaron Rodgers has taken all the money he's wanted, but now it's his turn. Now it's his turn to get what he's deserved. You know, a friend of mine, Andy Herman, covers the Green Bay Packers, and he said the following, while I'd be beyond shocked if it happened, one of the best things that could happen for Green Bay would be if another team offered Adams a contract this week. Green Bay could simply match taking the negotiations out of Green Bay's hands or get two first round picks in return. Now, I don't think Devontae Adams is worth two first round picks. In fact, I went ahead and commented, two first round picks seems like a lot considering he wants 30 million a year. I expect him to go for a second. And I think that's exactly what he's going to end up going for. I don't think Devontae Adams goes for two first round picks. I don't think he goes for a first round pick. Truth be told, I think Devontae Ad Adams is going to go for a second round pick. Because that's what DeAndre Hopkins was traded for just a couple seasons back. Antonio Brown was traded for a third round pick a couple seasons back. Devontae Adams, I don't see him being traded for two first round picks. Seems like a lot for a wide receiver wanting $30 million. Now, ultimately, will the Raiders swoop in and take Devontae Adams? I, I don't know. Right? I, I really don't know, but I think the Raiders should consider it. Devontae Adams is a top tier player. The Raiders need a top tier player. The Raiders are missing talent on the offensive side of the ball, specifically at one position, and that's that true number one wide receiver. You know, we have a great tight end, we have a great slot wide receiver, we have a really good running back, a really good second running back, a really young offensive line, but we're missing that one number one wide receiver. You know, I wanted Amari Cooper, and Amari Cooper was traded basically for a six round pick last week. Now, I know some fans don't like Cooper, some fans believe Cooper took shots at the Raiders, but I would say the opposite. I think if it was the, the correct situation, I think Cooper with the Raiders would have been a great fit. I think him and Derek have a good relationship. Regardless of that, Devontae Adams, on the other hand, could also go for a six-round pick. Or maybe it's a second-round pick. Either way, I don't think he goes for multiple firsts or anything like that. And I think the Raiders need to do Derek Carr a very solid and get him some playmakers. Now, I'm all not going for Devontae Adams, right? Allen Robinson, Jarvis Landry, and a couple other guys are also out there to be gotten. And at $30 million, personally, I don't think it makes sense. But if Derek Carr is willing to take a little bit less money for the Raiders to pay Der uh, Devontae Adams a little bit more money, at the same time, you draw up the contract correctly, I think it would be worth it, man. Let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.